Breaking away from Modi, India's ruling party suffered a major defeat in last week's state elections. The Bharatiya Janata Party lost in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. These states have been ruled by the BJP for 15 years. They're now under the control of the main opposition, Congress Party. The BJP was also beaten in two southern states by local parties. It's the worst timing for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. India will hold a national election next year. As far as the Congress Party is concerned, there can only be one result. The BJP has an ideology. We will fight against that ideology. We will defeat them. We have defeated them today and we will defeat them in 2019. So why are some Indians turning away from the Hindu nationalist BJP? When Modi swept to power four years ago, he promised jobs and development. Many say he's failed to deliver. Farmers are especially angry and say they've been neglected by the government. Tens of thousands of them recently marched against Modi. In the last year and a half, we have come to New Delhi four times. There have been no answers or work done by the government. And according to us, this is the biggest anti-farmer government in the history of India. Agriculture is crucial to India. It makes up about 15% of India's $2.6 trillion economy. For any Indian government, getting the backing of farmers is vital. The state's demonetization policy also weakens support for Modi. The 500 and 1,000 rupee notes were phased out two years ago. The government said it would make it easier to collect tax and digitize the economy. But millions of people were left without any money in the world's largest cash-based economy. The BJP has pursued a hardline Hindu nationalist agenda. It's promoted the majority Hindu faith over other religions. And this has encouraged attacks on minorities, such as the low-caste Dalits and Muslims. Modi has never openly supported this, but hasn't stopped it. Dozens of people, mainly Muslims, have been killed by so-called cow vigilantes. Cows are considered sacred to Hindus, but not to Muslims. Analysts say Modi has focused more on communal politics than jobs and growth. So is this the beginning of the end for Narendra Modi and the BJP? Or do they still have enough support to remain in power next year? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.